Hi, Fire Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader, and I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for this coming week of June 18th into the 24th, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information as well as the link to my new book, Accepting the Gift, is down below in the description box as well as pinned to the comment, top of the comment section below. So let's get started here for this coming week for the sign of Leo. We're going to start off first with the sign of Leo using the good old Marchetti deck this week. I feel that uh, you could be dealing with an air sign energy with that king of swords, but I really feel... Uh, air sign is like uh, thinking in the head kind of energy reflecting of the struggle that they've been going through to make a decision, a change in their life. Uh, now, there could have been a little bit of uh, words exchanged that were a little rough around the corners being said to uh, this person. I feel OK, but I do feel that, uh, Leo, you are trying your hardest to manifest, to talk to them, to tell them to come on back kind of energy here how much you love them, how much you're ready for them, how much you're willing to forgive them for whatever reason. I do feel that there is going to be an upcoming, I just heard, uh, change here. They've been battling in their mind, and I feel that there is a huge, uh, you know, forgiveness pattern here uh, that needs to be taken place with forgiveness. Now, there could be a significance to uh, the number nine, which would be September uh, Libra season or just nine months or nine days, but there's some kind of significance. But regardless, there's been a lot of waiting here uh, to fix this solution, but you still love them and still want them back and you're drawing them back, I just heard, and ready to go, go, go. They can pick up on your energy. I do feel they can hear you. They can visualize you. They can, uh, you know, really come down to ground zero and really focus on uh, fixing things, regardless if there were bad words exchanged to each other, the argument, confrontation here, or just uh, movement with this, with lack of communication, kind of blocking energy, lack of communication going on. The Six of Wands being in the outcome tells me is that there is going to be success for this even give and take with the Six of Pentacles present. Okay, so I do feel that they will be uh, coming back, okay? They're not overly hopeful in order to get you back, but uh, I literally heard somebody, uh, your partner is praying uh, for the answers, for the searching element here, uh, the courageousness to be able to communicate back with that page of swords here. So all in all, I do feel that they are balanced. They're showing up as the king of pentacles. Uh, so I do feel that they are balanced now that you can be dealing with earth sign energy, but regardless, they're ready to confront, they're ready to tackle uh, this relationship again, figure things out, heal things as well. So they feel like they know that you're going to be a little upset with them, okay? Uh, they might hear it from you kind of energy, especially with your own sign here of that Queen of Wands looking at that devil. So they're, they need to explain things, and that's why that Page of Swords Swords is explaining things, communicating as well, uh, being able to calm the mind as well, which would be your mind to explain everything to you, what all they were going through. I feel that, that for some, not all, uh, your partner here could have went through a bout of depression too. Uh, I don't feel that that depression could have been, uh, you know, obviously not your fault, but I feel like they just weren't ready for a commitment. They were kind of mentally um, you know, battling their own demons, I feel. Uh, but I do feel, though, that they are now bounced now. They figured things out and they're hopeful to be able to get you back. But a little nervous, I got to say, with that. Uh, yeah, that three of wands, they're waiting it out. But I do feel that they will be coming around and communicating this to you. All right. Moving on to Aries. Aries be dealing with the king of pentacles here is a sign of earth sign energy i literally heard an apology is owed an explanation is owed here i just heard for their uh i, I i'm just repeating for their disappearing act it's come it's almost kind of like uh they're showing me like a stage where the magician they just kind of vanished you know but i feel that they will be eager to take that next step you are their wish fulfillment. 
I literally heard that they kind of lost their way. They lost their direction when it came to you. I feel that there's definitely, <laughs> uh, that they are, uh, how do I put it? What they said, I can't say it like that, but uh, extremely charged up in the chemistry area, okay, for you, meaning that they find you attractive here. I literally feel like your counterpart's going to communicate back to you and say, I really don't know what happened. Uh, I think that, you know, I almost feel it's kind of like they're brushing it off. They're not really talking too, too much about it here and basically saying that they don't know what happened. You know, they don't know why. There's no real rhyme or reason or explanation that they're going to give that it matters. All that matters is to get you back. Okay. Yeah. I do feel that they definitely want to clear the air with you here. I feel like they're, this is the funniest energy, but it's so true. For me, I'm, I'm a Libra. I'm just going to use myself in it as an example. And I just told somebody this too. I can either, because uh, my I'm sign of scales, you know, I'm a triple Libra at that, sun, moon, and rising. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I can either stay completely si silent and quiet and closed off, or I can tell them off. <laughs> it depends on which side of the scale I'm on that day. Uh, normally, I do stay quiet. I feel with that example being said, Aries, I feel that when they return back, okay, and they communicate to you, they are going to be feisty here. They're going to be balanced with that King of Pentacles, yes. But just the sound of your voice and hearing the sound of your voice is going to bring on a flood of emotions, both happy, because he's over there grinning, okay, and just staying quiet here, or she, uh, and I definitely feel that they're just listening, realizing what they could have lost, what they did lose for that time frame, which is you, and how much they truly miss you here, but mostly lost energy, you know, just happy to hear your voice, feeling, regen you know, uh, filled up again with this get up and go energy to get back into the swing of things and just happy to hear your voice again, which is really nice. I like that a lot. So that is what I have. You have two wish fulfillment cards here, the nine of cups, as well as the star. Star is also known for healing energy after this conversation with a little spice in the rice with that page of wands here does represent the sign of Aries. So this could be you, uh, but definitely, you know, there's chemistry for sure. You got two pages here. So a lot of communication needed, a lot of explaining, a lot of get up and go. I feel rejuvenated. That's what it feels like. I feel like I got my, my second wind. You ever hear that term? Yeah. So it's kind of like that energy, but they're so grateful and so happy uh, that you're willing to talk to them again. It gives them that confirmation that things can work out for the better with this relationship. And that's what I have for the sign of Aries. And moving on to Saj. All right. And I do appreciate anybody out there who is willing to put the timestamps. I do appreciate that, as always. All righty. I can't say that word. You could be dealing with uh, air sign, not air sign, I'm sorry, uh, water sign energy with that King of Cups energy here. But I literally heard, I am such a beep, <laughs> starts with an A. Uh, YouTube has rules, I just can't say them on. I try to ab abide by them, obviously. I feel that there's definitely communication coming about. You not just have one page, but pages are communication, explanations, to go get what they want, which is you. I feel that between you and your partner here, Saj, that there's an apology owed because that page of cups is known for uh, a battle. Now, this could be a mental battle, I feel, for some, and others, I feel that there was a verbal confrontation kind of thing. But to have the king of cups and what I heard him say basically was, I'm such an it like, you know, I'll, I'll change the word what they said. I'm such an idiot uh, for not opening up. King Cups is known for kind of staying secluded with their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions. I should have, would have, could have opened up and explained. I should have, would have, could have opened up and told them how much I love them. You know, 
I'm such a babe, you know, about that. So definitely uh, they're regretting it and they now see what they need to do here for sure. I feel that you, there you go, uh, Queen of Wands here, there you go, holding your power. Uh, you are willing to partake in this and hear them out. They are much balanced now, I feel. There is an upcoming decision that you're going to have to make. They're hoping for the best that you will take them back. They're not really sure, but they're going for it. They're not even sure if you can you can take them back, you know, if you forgive them or what have you. Now, I am feeling with that emperor energy, uh, not only does this person, your, your partner here, feel uh, divinely guided, I feel, but I also feel that, um, you know, and I literally heard they are the chosen one. So definitely they know that you're the one. I am feeling a little twin flamish energy as well with that emperor being there. Let's continue on. Sun. Correcto. Uh, after all the time here, uh, the, the crying and the strength that need to take place, the first card out, of course, is that sun. So things are about to turn around for the best, I feel. Uh, you had to learn that this definitely twin flame. There's so many. I mean, it's true with any relationship, really. Uh, to win the prize, I just heard. Uh, but there's so many ups and downs along this journey, but it all works out in the end, basically, with that sun being the first card out. So big time changes. I feel this is the final cycle, okay, I heard as well, meaning that they've ghosted you, they've done you wrong in the past. Now, I don't want to put like flamethrowers at them uh, because it does take two to tango, but definitely some kind of con either confrontation or confrontation that took place where they're sorry because they didn't open up in time and express how they feel towards you. I do feel a lot of fire. So your uh, partner could be another fire sign here, Sag Aries uh, Leo here. But regardless, I feel that they are definitely balanced and they do see this strong connection and is going for it. They're not really sure if they can get you back. I get that a lot with a lot of partners, but uh, but that is what I have for not just Sag, but for all the fire signs for this coming week of June 18th into the 24th, 2023. I hope that this helps, guys. Have a great week. Enjoy it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.